Good morning, Steve. Good morning, everyone. My name is Delan Ruido with Broken Nation Real Estate, and today is Mindset Monday, as it was just announced. And I want to welcome all of you to this Monday. We had a long weekend. I hope you enjoyed it with family and friends. But let's get back to business and let's start this week strong and, and let's consider a few strategies because what's going on now? We're really, really cutting it short uh, for, for the rest of this year. The end of the year is really, really near. So as we get closer to the end of the year, we want to make our days count, right? And because of that, today we're going to be talking about marketing strategies to stay top of mind with your clients because one should always aim to have a system for reconnecting, right, with our old clients, past clients regularly. And so they get accustomed to getting something from us, whether it's a, a card, a, a gift or update from us certain times. Staying in touch ensures that they remain part of our fear, uh, our sphere and think of us when someone in their sphere or their network needs a real estate uh, advice or needs some real estate help. But by going through your sphere a couple of times, I would say a couple of times a week, you'll make this a habit and eventually you will get through all your contacts. Now, you can do the uh, traditional stuff, which is sending a, a mail, uh, something through mail, like a, like a monthly postcard, a letter, a newsletter or a magazine. You can even call and have a conversation with them. You can even go as far as breaking bread over coffee or a meal, or you can give them something, give them a gift. Now, this is definitely going the extra mile for sure, but it can be worth it a lot of the time. So sending gifts will likely bring up some name, uh, your name around the dinner table, and then hopefully lead some, some more referrals for you. So something to keep in mind when we're talking about uh, gift giving or this method is that you shouldn't do this with every single client that, that you ever had. So when you're going after referrals, you should set up some, some kind of grading system for your clients, meaning which clients are very likely to refer your business, which ones are not likely or that would never send you uh, or refer you anybody. So obviously, you should spend your time and money on the ones that, that are going to give you the most business and send you the most referrals. And I'm going to give you some quick ideas, and then I'm going to introduce somebody very special that can expand on, on this idea as well. So some ideas, as you know, we're ready, you know, at the end of the year, the last month. So you have seasonal items uh, such as spices or spiced tea or coffee, right? Tickets to a football game or other sporting events. You have gift cards to upscale supermarkets or restaurants. You have, um, you know, items such as um, candles or photo frames, uh, hand soap or, or sofa throw. So you can think outside the box here and put stuff together that you think that your past customers and your past clients can definitely use. But as you head into next year, you have also spring gifts that you can think of. You have summer gifts. But let's, let's go ahead and, and introduce now uh, our guest speaker for today. He's going to expand a little bit more on other type of ideas that you can implement and show you how you can stay top of mind with your customer. So today's guest speaker is Giovanni Pastrana. He's a strategic branding and client retention specialist. And he's going to talk to you for a minute, for a few minutes on how to retain your clients and increase referral business. Giovanni, thank you so much for joining us today for Mindset Monday. Take it away, brother. Hey, Lan. Thank you so much for having me. Super excited to be here to kick off the Monday after the holiday. Uh, before I jump in, I want to acknowledge you guys for being here, leveling up your business, whether you're here on the Zoom or you're watching, you know, on our on the live stream on Facebook. But, you know, like Dayland mentioned, my name is Giovanni Pastrana. You know, what I do is I really help agents and lenders and a bunch of business owners, but specific to what we're chatting about today and agents, I really help you stay top of mind with clients really forever, right? And the key, I, the reason I always say that is because, if we can stay top of mind with every client we work with, then they don't have the opportunity to forget us, right? They can't not remember us. And when they need us again, right, they can use us again, like Daylan mentioned, right? So they know that we're, you know, the real estate advisor and we can help in all areas. And so, you know, what we do, we help to make you sure that you stay top of mind by helping you leverage some unique gifting strategies. And Daylan touched a little bit about, you know, up on it, but uh, really what we do and you guys know this, you know, every good realtor knows that at the end of the transaction is really where we're beginning that lifelong relationship that we're creating, right? It really starts when we finish that first transaction. And so 
what we do, you know, we've been the largest closing gift company in the nation for about the last 11 years. Now we work with over 65,000 agents across the nation. Um, and what we do is we help you leverage usually your closing gifts, but now with the time of the year, I have a lot of agents that leverage the holidays or maybe the beginning of the year, like Daylen mentioned, to really leverage and spark maybe one year, two year, three year home anniversary gifts, right? And so there's a couple of different strategies that I'll touch on. Um, I also, Daylen mentioned a little bit about, you know, maybe this isn't for every client. So I have some strategies as well. Um, you know, I teach a class on just seven keys on creating lifetime client retention. And, and one of the things that I talk of, you know, that I mentioned is that 80% of your future business will come from 20% of your clients, right? And, and Forbes talks about that. That's something that we all know. But 80% of your business from here on out for the rest of your career will come from 20% of your current clients. So one of the big keys is identifying who are those 20%, right? How can we figure out who those 20% are, whether they're gold group, you know, we consider them gold group. So these might be key employee relationships, right? Like maybe they're referral partners, maybe they're not even like a specific client, but maybe it's a a lender that you know if you connect with they can help you increase your business or maybe it's a it's another realtor partner in another part of town right another city another state um so there's a, you know a couple other things um whether it's insurance or a builder it could be a couple other people outside of just clients but also leveraging your clients as well will help you you know increase and figure out who are these people that can help bring me you know business referral business long term but when it comes to you know specific gifts and and, you know, we can talk about closing gifts to start and we can pivot from there. But I always like to say it doesn't really matter what we give our clients. Like they're going to love it. Right. Gifts are free. We love free gifts. Right. Daylen mentioned a bunch of things, wine, champagne, gift cards, spices, food. Right. If you give me anything, it's free. I love it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to be excited. The key is there's three big things that you want to think about when you're really giving gifts. There's three main things you really want to consider. The first thing is the usefulness of the gift, right? Like how useful is the gift that they're given? How often are they gonna pick it up? How often are they gonna use it? The second thing is the longevity of the gifts. Like how long will it be around, right? Is it days, is it weeks, is it months, years? And then the third thing too, is how can the gift create top of mind awareness? So those are the three things that we really harp on. We found from giving bis business gifts, right? Those are three big key areas that we wanna make sure we are intentional about touching on. And so. I'm not here to tell you clients don't like the gifts that you're given or the, or the generic gifts, right? Again, people love all gifts, but how can we be strategic about those kind of three things? And so, you know, most gifts, the wine, the champagne, the gift cards, the gift baskets, they're great, but the main challenge, and when you, and you guys think about it, is that they're, they're eaten, they're drinking, they're consumed, right? They just don't really last a while. They're not, you know, there's something that's going to be here today and then boom, it's gone tomorrow, the days, weeks, or months later, right? something that really doesn't help create that longevity, that top of mind awareness, or even the usefulness factor. And so when it comes to, you know, something standard, like, you know, a closing gift where, you know, something where, how can we create systems in our business, which is what Dayland mentioned as well. And so I'm going to come or kind of go over real quick, you know, what are some of the things that we do in specific to like the types of gifts that we can do to help touch on those three points. And then I'll touch on a little bit as well, like a key system and how we can help kind of systemize it for you. And whether you choose to work with us, you choose to work with another company, doesn't matter, but how can we kind of incorporate these things across the board, right? So we can make sure we have a system in place for it, but we're touching those three key areas that we mentioned. And so what we do as a solution, we help you find the gifts for your client that they're gonna love and that they're gonna use. Here's the key, every day for the rest of your career, and keeps creates top of mind awareness, right? So the key is like, how do we do that, right? What can we give? How can we leverage that? And so there's a couple of different products and companies um, and things that you can do. One of the products that we're most known for and what's made us famous over the last, I mean, the product's been around for seven years, but we started getting into the gifting space about 12, 13 years ago. Um, one of the products we're actually most known for is our Cutco Cutlery. And so there's usually some people who are familiar with Cutco, has heard of Cutco. Cutco has been around for 70 years. And, you know, if you're here and you want to share, you know, in the chat box, if you own Cutco or something like that, I'd love to hear about it. But if you're not familiar with it, all the Cutco product is, is like the Rolls Royce, the Bentley of kitchen knives, right? So it's made in America. It's guaranteed forever. So it's super high quality. And what we do with the products that people are going to remember, love and use every day for the rest of your career we just take the product that's been on Marvel's, Made in America, 
Uh, Rachel Ray endorses the product. So it's a great product. And I see Reynaldo um, chiming in some fantastic knives. And what we do with the product that, remember, super high quality, we take it and we'll brand it, right? And we'll also engrave it with your business, right? And so here's the key. There's a couple things for your business, right? One, obviously, it keeps you top of mind, right? It becomes their favorite piece in their kitchen. They're going to love it and they're going to use it. And it's going to have your information right there engraved on a high quality product that they're going to love and use every day. So it creates top of mind awareness. The second thing it does too, Dayland mentioned this as well. How can we do something that can help spark some referrals, right? And help spark conversation when they have friends and family over, right? So I, I, I always, what I love about the holiday season is that people always get in together, mixing and mingling with their friends and their families. And we can't make it to every family gathering. We can't go to every, you know, uh, family mixer. But if we can leave behind an item that might spark conversation about our gift, our services and what we do, right? What can that do for a business 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road? And I love the holiday season from a business perspective because I always love getting messages from clients like, hey, I just got a, a text from a client that a conversation came up at our Thanksgiving dinner, right? And it's something that obviously, you know, is gratifying and fulfilling for me, but it's something that works. So it sparks conversation when they have friends and family over, right? They might ask questions like, hey, where'd you get that, you know, white handled knife that you're using, right? For the, uh, for the turkey that we're carving, right? Or that big, you know, red vegetable chopper that you're using to cut onions or garlic or cilantro, whatever it is, right? The red or the white handle sometimes might spark conversation with their friends and their families. Hey, where'd you get that? What'd you, what are you using? Oh, my realtor, Reynaldo got that for me, right? Uh, you know, when we moved in, when we closed on the property, uh, by the way, if you ever need anything, they're awesome. Um, oh, you know what? M my daughter, they're actually in the market, right? They're actually looking to, to maybe buy it this upcoming year. Boom, it sparks conversation about you and your services, right? So that's a really big key and tip as well. Um, the third thing I always like to cover because with the year ending and, and you know, some agents don't even know this. So the legal limit for gifts for write-offs with the IRS. So if you didn't know, this is some good nuggets to know. The legal limit that you can write off per gift per client is $25. That's what the IRS allows you to write off. Now, I know we're spending a lot more than $25 on our closing gifts. I, trust me, I, I do this. I know, right? So here's what happens. Sometimes either A, we're just writing off more and hoping we don't get audited, right? Or B, we're just not really maximizing that full tax deduction. Here's a key. Because our gifts are engraved with your advertising, your marketing, your brand, your name, your number, it's a form of advertising and marketing. Advertising and marketing is 100% tax deductible, right? So you can get the full write-off for your gifts when you guys were already spending more, right? So that's another key loophole that, you know, if it's engraved, if it's branded, you can write it off as advertising and marketing. We have a bunch of other products. Um, and I'll show you another example here. Um, these are, you know, this is a cutting board here that are handmade by veterans in our factory in North Carolina. Again, this is something that, you know, maybe the, the, you know, the fact that they're made by veterans might spark some conversation with your clients. Maybe it's something a little bit more memorable that, that we'll remember. Of course, we'll engrave it, you know, with your info. We can do a nice generic design. Um, but again, how can we maybe do something that's going to be useful, that's going to last a while, create top of mind awareness because they're going to use it, right? Um, and what better place than in the kitchen when they have friends and family over that might spark conversation. So all of the items we have, you know, the Cutco knives is probably one of the things we're most known for. We got the, uh, you know, cutting boards that are handmade by veterans in the United States and North Carolina. We also have some drinkware options and wine gifts and stuff like that, um, you know, that are also some, some nice added touches. And so the last thing that we really help you do is create a system in place. And so again, whether you choose to work with us, whether you don't choose to work with us, the key is how can you systemize something like this in your business, right? Because gifting for all of us is important, but it's like 600th on the to-do list, you know? And it's not our job to be running around town shopping or personalizing gifts, right? Like that's not on our job description as a realtor. And so what we do is we make it really simple. Um, you know, whether it's something as for closing gifts, you just want to have as a random appreciation gift, whatever it is, what we typically will do for agents is we'll systemize it for you. All your clients, they eat, they cut food into smaller pieces, and they have a kitchen, right? So most times this is going to work for almost everybody. So we just make it simple. What we'll do is we figure out, you know, Reynaldo, how many gifts do you think you'll use in the next 12 months? How about how many closings do you think you'll use? Okay, great. It's 20 gifts. Perfect. We'll get you 20 gifts. We'll engrave them with your info. We'll ship them to you so you have them on hand, ready to roll whenever you need them. And then from a payment perspective, 
All Cutco does is we'll bill you out over the six or over the 12 months, no interest, no credit. So that way it's really easy on cash flow. You're basically only paying for how many you think you'll use. But the key is you already have them. They're engraved. They're ready to roll. And it's an easy system where you're not running around last minute. Oh, my God, what do I get? Do they like red wine? Do they like white wine? Shopping last minute, right? It's systemized and it's easy. Um, so that's going to be our first program. That's probably most popular, just our stock on hand program to make it really simple. We also have a dropship program where some agents will do the same exact thing. But instead of us shipping them all to you, we'll just hold them at the factory and we'll drop ship it directly to the client for you. That's a really nice popular touch where we can, you know, include a nice gift letter to the client. I always recommend if you want to do that program, we'll ship it to them like maybe two weeks after closing. So they're not really expecting it as much and they're a little bit moved in already, a little bit more settled in um, and it pops up on their doorstep. So they're not expecting it. Oh, my God, honey, look what we got. Reynaldo sent us a gift. Right. And it sparks conversation. But not only that we'll include a nice message at the bottom that says, call me to confirm that you received this. And now they're reaching out to you with some gratitude and some appreciation a couple of weeks after the transaction. It's a way for you to leverage that conversation, right? Hey, by the way, I'm looking to build my online presence. If, you know, if I send you a quick online review, do you think you can fit it out for me? Yes, of course, Reynaldo, I'd love to send that over right now. We'd love to fit it out for you. So it's a way to also maybe leverage online reviews, maybe spark some referrals. Hey, have you met the neighbors yet? X, Y, and Z, but you can use that conversation and pivot and utilize that, you know, wherever you need. And you can have the gift spark that conversation for you, whether instead of you, you know, having to reach out for that conversation. So that's another idea, um, the dropship program. And then the third thing, um, Dayla mentioned a little bit about this too, uh, towards the beginning, like how can we maybe continuously, you know, maybe love on our clients or do some small little appreciation touches. And so we have another option, which is our campaign program. I don't recommend the campaign program for all your clients like Dayland mentioned, but maybe for your top 20% that you think could bring you a lot of revenue over the next few years, what we can do is a campaign program where we can send them a closing gift at closing. We can set up a campaign where maybe a month later they get a handwritten thank you card. Maybe three months later, they get a couple of band-aids that say, hey, I'm sure you've been using your knives. I just want to let you know, no matter what, I've got you covered, right? It's another little small cost-effective touch. Maybe at the six-month mark, they get a little coffee mug right? Just to do a little small touch as well to let you know that you're thinking of them. And then maybe a one-year home anniversary gift, you know, time to celebrate and maybe it's a little wine gift, right? But whatever, that's just an idea that we can, we can, you know, come up with a plan and we have a bunch of campaign programs to help you, but maybe that's an automated campaign system that you don't have to think about that we'll take care on the back end, right? And we'll be able to make some appreciation touches for you. That'll be literally landing upon their doorstep like love bombs, that they won't really be expecting, but for you can really help impact and drive business, right? We're all humans. We like that connection. We like that touch. Um, and there's really something special about random appreciation and, you know, showing people that, that we care. And so that's our mission. And that's really what we do. So there's a couple of different programs, um, you know, a couple of different products that we have, um, you know, and a couple of things that we can do to help you know, you really leverage your relationships to, uh, to really, you know, take that business to the next level. And um, holidays are a great time to appreciate people as well. We do a lot of things where we can, you know, drop ship. I was just talking to an agent this morning. We're getting her set up to send all of her clients from the past two years. We'll be sending love bombs over the next two to three weeks of just something on their doorstep, right? To be able to, you know, hey, I know it's been, you know, tough years, X, Y, and Z, but we'll put a nice gift letter together that'll help spark a lot of inbound positive gratitude and appreciation to the agent that they can now leverage and, and use, however. So um, that's really a little bit about what we do. Um, I don't know, Dayland, if you have any questions or if anybody on the call has questions. Um, and then um, yeah, I can put some of my contact info as well if you guys you know, have any specific questions you want to reach out for. I definitely love the, um, um, the, all, all the, all the, the points that you touch on, like, for example, the taxes. And but how you can use the marketing part of it. I mean, that I think that was that was uh, that was great that you were able to share that. And I, I wrote down, I, I put down here a few notes uh, uh, when we're thinking about putting gifts together. Uh, number one, the usefulness of, of the gift. Number two, the longevity of that gift. And number three, how to create top of mind awareness. So this is all very, very, very important. So that's something that we want to keep in mind. Now, let me ask you about, about the products that you have specifically. How many, what's the line of products that you have besides the, the knife and the cutting board? Yeah, for sure. Great question, Dayla. And so when it comes to the knives, there's a bunch of different, you know, how many knives, which one, you know, how many we're going to get those types of things. Um, 
I would say that's probably what we're known most known for just because it's been around for 70 years. They're made in America and a lot of people are going to, you know, use them on a daily basis. The prices for those, which I didn't cover, which I should probably cover prices for those are usually going to land somewhere in that, you know, 75, 80 to 200, 220 ballpark, right? Just depends on which one we get and how many and all those things. But just, you kind of have a ballpark, you know, most of them will fall in that 75 to 150 range, which is what most agents spend, you know, on closing gifts anyways. Um, then we have the cutting boards. We have a couple different lines of cutting boards from bamboo boards to veteran handmade boards. Um, those boards would fall in that, you know, 40 to 110 range. Again, just depends on which, you know, board we get and how many. Um, but that's usually the ballpark for pricing as well. Um, then we'll have, you know, tumblers or water bottles and things like that. This is like a, you know, sample tumbler as well. People are always looking to stay hydrated. So we can do something like coffee. We can do something a little bit bigger, like the 30 ounce, you know, ones that we like to take on the boat. Um, or we could do like hydration water bottles. Um, I don't have mine around, but, uh, you know, I can sh show you what that would look like. Um, so we have, you know, a line of uh, drinkware is what we call it. That would be in that, you know, 20 to 40, you know, range, 20 to 50 range. You have a ballpark. Um, and then we have lower cost, you know, touches as well. Right. Like the things that we mentioned, like a small, you know, wine entertainer tool, uh, you know, maybe 15 bucks range that can be used to just do some random appreciation. And we have the wine tumblers, you know, like the little circular wine tumblers that are, um, you know, popular. We have wine openers, different wine gift sets. So the wine gifts, I'd say, would range again in that 20 to 40 range. Um, and then, you know, smaller individual, you know, thank you cards, metal thank you cards is really what, what we try to do because metal thank you cards are going to be a little bit, you know, last a little bit longer, be harder to throw away, a little bit more memorable, right? So kind of kind of trying to hit on those points of longevity and usefulness and, and top of mind awareness. So I'd say those are probably the products that, um, probably different product lines that we're probably most known for. Okay, that's awesome. So, okay, I kind of like wrote down some of the, the price points. Now, do you have a, do you guys have like a website somewhere that if we can place the order, we call you directly? Yeah, for sure. So, you, yeah. So if you have interest in gifts, you want to, you know, have some questions, you maybe you just want to get rolling, you know what you want. Um, you'll definitely probably want to connect with me just because I'll be able to kind of help you get set up with like the engraving instructions, give you some ideas and help you get, you know, rolling. You absolutely could see everything on our website, which we have, which is just cuttingedgegifts.com. Um you know, C-U-T-T-I-N-G, Edge, E-D-G-E, -E, and then gift, G-I-F-T dot com. Um, you'll be able to see, you know, almost everything that we have there um, that you can check out. Um, and then when you're ready to get rolling with gifts, you have interest in gifts, or you just have questions that maybe like, obviously the website can't answer, um, you definitely can reach out to me, call, text, email, or we can set a quick, you know, five, 10 minute strategy call, which I do for a lot of agents. We'll all kind of learn a little bit more specific, like about your business, maybe what your goals or objectives are. And then maybe just make some recommendations. And if it's something that, you know, you think will align and make sense, then I'll be more than happy to, you know, get you rolling and get you set up um, and get all your information over to the team so they can start working on an engraving proof. You can see the way everything will look. Once you approve it, then they'll start the engraving and, uh, and shipping process for you. Perfect. What I like about the service that you offer is that you guys are like, uh, you put everything together for, for us, right? Um, uh, as far as the engraving goes and, and the product and everything, which pretty much covers all the main three points that you want with a gift to stay top of mind. So um, I, I highly encourage you to think about that because all the gift that I've put together for after the closings or throughout the year that I send out, I think of those same three points. I want to make sure that it's a gift that they continue using. For example, me personally, because I use it uh, in my house, I use it at the office. I use the uh, Aroma 360 uh, diffuser. And my, my wife loves that, right? But it's not engraved. So if I wanted to get an engraved, I had to send it to another, another company, get an engraved. And if I want those little, the, the send bottles and, you know, engraved as well, because that's something that I start sending out throughout the year at the same time. What I love about your service is that you're already putting everything together. So we don't have to think outside of the box, really just one person to talk to, you know, put the gift uh, uh, or the idea together and they take yep. care of, of the rest. So that's yeah, really we're almost like, like you mentioned, I get this comment a lot. We're almost like your gifting assistant, right? You have a gift, you have yeah. assistance for different parts of your business. And, you know, we have managers and different people that take care of different things, transaction coordinators, all these things. We're basically like your gifting assistant. Cause I always like to say it's an important part of the business, but it's not really your job responsibility. Right? I talk to agents. Sometimes I was shopping at Marshall's for two hours, like trying to figure out what they, you know, what they might like. Right. And so like, what is that time worth to you and your business? What can we be doing? you know, with that time. So leverage us, allow us to be that gifting assistant for you. Um, allow us to kind of take this off your plate and, 
and increase your ROI in the process. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then the quality is great. I mean, Ray, Ray, uh, he, you got one of the knives and, and he loved it. Right. So um, I saw, I saw some of your products. They're, they're very, it's a, it's a high in quality. Like it's good. Like we loved it. So definitely going to hear from, from me and, and think of, you know, outside of the box. I mean, it's not just people that you have worked with, like past clients and whatnot, but also maybe people in your sphere is like, man, how can I show a little bit of love to these people? And then now you putting some thought into that gift, right? We always think, oh, I'll have a closing tomorrow. Now I got to run and, and get something. You know, if you think about your marketing and your strategies, you're always going to think ahead and you're going to put all this stuff together ahead of time, which is going to make you look even better and more thought into that process. So, uh, Giovanni, thank you so much for, for that. Um, can you share your, your contact and then yeah, also most, most definitely here's what I'll do. Cause I always like to do something special too, for anybody that might have interest or, you know, just like to reward people for taking some action. So here's what I'll do, whether you're watching on the live stream or you're here on the zoom, um, or maybe you watch the recording, what I'll do first is I'll give you my cell phone number here. And if you have interesting gifts, or you want some more information, what I'll do, you can just text me with your name and your email. So I know who you are. Um, and if you have interesting gifts, let me know, say I'm interested or just put the words, maybe I'm in with the text um, and put like Mindset Monday. So I know that you are here. And what I'll do is with your order, I'll buy you $100 in free cut go that I'll pay for for you for your personal use with your order. Just just as a gift for being here for leveling up your business. Um, and then if you just want some information, like you just want our catalog or email or you know, whatever it is, if you just want some information in general, you just have a question, um, you can just text me and just let me know, you know, hey, I just want some info. But if you're interested in gear, so like you specifically, like maybe you need something to get rolling ASAP, put the words I'm in that way I know you have some interest and I can follow up with you. So I'll give you my cell phone number and Steve, maybe you can put in the chat box as well. Um, but my cell phone number is 954. And again, just text me with your name and your email. So I know who you are. 954 uh, 303 9809 again 954 303 9809 if you have interest in gifts closings coming up you know text me with the words i'm in if you just want some info just let me know say hey i want some info and i'll send over um you know some info over to you as well and uh yeah that that that's pretty much how you can get a hold of me um i'll send you an email if you just want some info and uh and make sure you have all of our stuff and um We'll get we'll get you rolling ASAP. Awesome, Giovanni. Thank you so much once again. Great presentation, great uh, content, and and great ideas behind what you guys are putting together. So thank you once again for joining us today for Mindset Monday. Thank you everyone else for joining us today. Uh, Giovanni's information is right there. The phone number. Send them. Make sure you send them a text, even if you're not you're not ready to to be in right now. But at least get more information about it because this is really important, especially going now into. 2022 you do want to get your marketing strategies on point all right so thank you everyone have a great week uh, just a quick a quick um, um information about what we have coming up this week steve what do we got okay coming up we have uh our year-end um internal uh get together right daylon uh, that's what the 15th of december i haven't posted that yet but as always I post everything at brokernation.events. Remember, I always, that's me behind that, by the way. If you have questions, check me, uh, email me, call me. Most of you Broker Nation people have my, my direct number, but I always post everything at brokernation.events. That's dot .events at the end, Daylon, instead of .com. All right, stay tuned for Real Estate Friday as well. Uh, we do have uh, another guest speaker this Friday. So this is Friday at 1. Uh, Joanny, just so you know, like every every Friday we always have um, it's called Real Estate Friday. So we always have a guest speaker over. So feel free if you have some time, if you want to stop by. So some of the agents and perhaps then they didn't make it today for a Mindset Monday, you can, you know, say hi, you know, share your information as well and some networking. But yeah, Real Estate Friday, um, to register for that, you go to BrokerNation.Events and you register for that for that training and stay tuned on BrokerNation.Events because we always have something new coming out. Some, some training either in person or live. So you know what's going on at Broker Nation Real Estate. And we do have our end of the year luncheon or, or party rather, because it's not going to be a luncheon this time. And it's that's going to be posted in there as well. And, and it's by invitation only. It's going to be a, a Broker Nation Doral office. Um, so it's going to be, we've done it before. We definitely couldn't do it 2020, but uh, it's a lot of fun. 
and it's super cool. And we get to invite some great people to uh, uh, and join us as well. And that's going to be, Steve, it's going to be on the 10th. So December 10th, which is a Friday. So we're going to release the, the time uh, pretty soon. So again, that's going to be on December uh, 10th, which is a Friday. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today for Mindset Monday. Take care. Have an awesome week. And I'll see you on Real Estate Friday. Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm going to put this on gallery mode and ask all of you to uh, unmute yourselves as usual and just wave goodbye to everyone. So have a great week. Remember, join brokernation.net uh, if you want to forward that to any agents that want to learn more about us. And uh, we will see you on Friday, remember, for Real Estate Friday. Brokernation.events is where you can go to sign up. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. See you later, everybody. Bye. 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 See you. Hey, Maritza. Bye, Jesus. Steve. Bye, Dave. Have a great week. Bye, Bye Ray. You too. Take care, everyone.